Welcome back to Not Quite Nerdy. What's up, my people? Happy New Year. Thank you all so very much from the bottom of my heart for helping me get to over a thousand subscribers. Fully YouTubed out. Now, on with the show. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to get Xbox Cloud Streaming, or xCloud as they call it, on your Steam Deck. Let's get it. All right, everybody. Uh, so we are going to install onto the Steam Deck xCloud Game Streaming. Here's the PC. Magazine has an article. Um, there's multiple videos on the YouTubes. There is the actual support article from Microsoft. This is the one that I followed. So I'm gonna run you through the steps. It's already installed on my PC, but we're gonna go through it anyway. So, so here we go. So here's the official support page from Microsoft. So I'm gonna open up all these tabs and it's got pictures and stuff to follow along. But as you can see, I'm I'm going to walk you through them as well in here. So we're gonna to roll to the Discover Software Center, and when that opens, hopefully it won't glitch. There we go. When it opens, what we wanna do is we wanna search Edge. It'll bring up Microsoft Edge, and you'll see the button to install in the top right corner or right there back on this page where you found it instead of remove. We're gonna go ahead and roll into here. You can see this is the official version. It's distributed by Flathub, uh, yada, yada. And you're gonna hit install. Should only take a couple of seconds to install. Once it's been installed, you're gonna close the Discovery Center. You are going to return to the desktop and you're gonna se select the application launcher, which is this puppy right here. You roll into applications and you are going to make sure that it is installed, which it is, and you should have seen that on the last page. Next thing we want to do after we verify that it's still there is we want to open up Steam, and we're going to go ahead and go to Steam. We're going to go up here in the top right corner, top left corner. We're going to hit Games. We are going to add non-Steam game to library. And when you pull up this, and you're just not going to see it on mine, when you pull up this, oh, you actually, you are going to see it on mine. When you pull this up, you're gonna see the list of everything that's installed that is not currently inside of your Steam library, uh, as in being able to launch it directly from Steam. So the whole goal of this add non-Steam game is we wanna add this so that we can launch it from game mode. We're in desktop mode right now, we wanna be able to launch it from game mode. All right, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit Microsoft Edge, add selected programs, Microsoft Edge. So here's Edge, you can click on it here and see it. Uh, the next thing we have to do is we are going to copy this bit of code right here. Um, now, I want to make sure you guys know this. If you copy this incorrectly and there's any spaces added or taken away to it at the end, at the beginning, wherever, it will not work and you'll get an error. And the only reason I know this is because that error was really hard for me to search when I did this the first time a couple of months ago. But just so you guys know, you can hit me in the comments and, and I can find that article for you um, if you have any questions or anything goes wrong with your install. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit this, the uh, little gear icon. We're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to, properties we are going to go to launch options right here and we are going to add this whole section oops control C we're gonna add this whole section after the Microsoft Edge at at you 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 at at or whatever it is so you can see right here there's these things so directly after that I'm going to add this. Now, like I said, we want to make sure there's no et, uh, there's no spaces at the end, and we want to make sure there's no spaces at the at, at. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here just to double check. So no extra spaces. So this should be correct. And we'll find out in a minute when we get through here. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is Next thing we're gonna do is add the um, custom artwork. And the cool thing is this was all supplied right here on this link, uh, which I'll have below for the article for this. This is all provided by Microsoft. So you've got the two different, or two different folders with all the different um, banners. So if you're just doing Microsoft Edge, but you're not gonna do this specifically for xCloud, here's the banners for that. And then if you are doing xCloud, here's the banners for that. So. We're going to take these three and we're going to hit copy 
And we're going to go from here to our file folder. And I'm gonna to go to photos and you can see I kind of have all the custom artwork and you can do this custom artwork step for any of your games or anything that you install. I did it for PS5 streaming and, and EA launcher and kind of all those things. So we'll go over that. So I have all three here, so I don't actually need to go copy those, but you would want to either go into your pictures or go into another spot, you name it. Um, sky's the limit, however you, want to, however you want to organize your files, go for it. They're photos for me. I don't download a lot of photos on here. So for now they're just here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we're gonna click the choose icon. I use the square one right here for the icon. So in the choose icon, we're gonna go home deck. We are going to go um, all files just in case. We're gonna go down here to our pictures file. And then you can see all of our photos. So which one's the one? Icon, icon. So we're gonna double click this and boom. Now you have your icon built in here. Next thing we're gonna do is close this. We are going to uh, come up here. We're going to set custom background. This custom background is going to be the same thing. We're going to go to where's my photos. We're going to go to home deck. We're going to go to fixtures and we're going to see which one is the one we want. So this one right here, xCloud gaming banner, that's probably the one we want because it's a uh, widescreen style. So we're going to go uh, drop this PNG to all files. We're gonna go xCloud banner and boom, shakalaka. And then right here for the um, custom logo, we're gonna again do the um, xCloud gaming icon. At least that's what I do. You don't actually have to do this because we're gonna change the name at some point as well in this tutorial. But we'll go back to home deck. We'll go down to pictures. I'm gonna do PNG. We're gonna go all files. Scroll back down, we're gonna do icon. Now, for the Steam Deck interface, there's one more thing we need to change, and it's this vertical um, library or whatever they call it, I don't remember. But now we're done with this, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to library, and what we wanna do is scroll down here. See how these are all the vertical? This is what it shows up as in your actual Steam Deck. So we're gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we're gonna find Microsoft Edge, boom. See how it's blank even though we put those other icons in there? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click, we're gonna hit manage, and we're gonna set custom artwork. And we're gonna do the exact same step as before. We're gonna go, oh, what's already in the pictures? Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go straight here in the pictures. We're gonna take undo the PNG. We're gonna do all files because these are not PNGs, they're JPEGs. And we're gonna do the capsule is what it's called. And boom, there you go. Bob's your uncle. That is the basics of the installation and everything that you need to do inside of the desktop mode. And so now what we're going to do is close all this stuff. We don't need it. And what we're going to do is go back into the gaming mode, see if the install works, and then we will um, hook the rest up from there. All right. So as you can see, we're back now in gaming mode and xCloud is here because I've already launched it. But to find it, you're going to go in here, hit your Steam button. You're gonna go down to, let me do this on the controller, you're gonna go down to library, and you're gonna look for, with the bumpers, you're gonna look for non-Steam game. And once you've done that, you're gonna go non-Steam game, you're gonna click on this little puppy right here, and you'll hit play, and what you'll see is, if you've done it right, if you've done it wrong, you'll get this error. And this is the error I was talking about. So if you've done it right, the first time you launch it, it'll look like this, and you're gonna wanna do your normal things to log in. So you can see I'm not signed in, it says sign in here. So we're gonna sign into our cloud gaming account. There we go. Cool. And so once you've signed in, you'll be in your whole thing. You can see I don't have a Game Pass Unlimited right now, or Ultimate right now. Uh, because it canceled it when I made this video the first time, which all got deleted, but you get the point. Once you're logged in, you can see I've got an Xbox controller all hooked up. We could be doing this in um, Call Gaming Sports 1, Account of Time. Yeah, got it. Um, but as you can see, you can scroll through the entire catalog and just click on them to play. I mean, it's that simple. So uh, if you have any problems, you run into that error, please comment me below. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day. Happy New Year. Peace.